Hi and welcome to ARCO Germany. Today we will discover together this over 50 year old cognac from the house Valin Tersigny. So before we start with our review, I want to give you first a small orientation where we are today. So I have here a little map from France and um, there you already can see the Cognac region on the west side, Atlantic side. And when we get a little bit closer there, so you will see that um, the Cognac region is divided in six areas. And today we have a Cognac from La Tassanier and I will show you here the, the star where the domain uh, is located. And this cognac we review today is uh, a Fin Bois cognac. So, I had um, last year the chance to visit the domain and I really can recommend uh, you to go there. It's a very interesting, um, yeah, it's a special spirit there. You um, have the, the warehouse and uh, you can have a look a little bit uh, where the production process takes place. And yeah, so it's really a recommendation to visit them. And this cognac house Valin Tersigny is now in the fifth generation. It was founded 1850. And they use cognacs from all regions. So they are not limited in one or two regions. They get supply from all of the regions. And the main grape they use is Uniblanc. I will make another video in the future where we will talk about a little bit the areas and also the grape variety they use for Armagnac and Cognac. Um, but now we want to concentrate on the review from this um, very old Cognac. Valin Tarsenier has a big range of cognacs. They have a lot of extra olds, they have a lot of VSOPs, and they also offer cognac in special decanter, and they have a lot of single cast bottlings. As well, the single cast bottling today is uh, lot number 68. What lot exactly means is actually quite simple. If you open a cask and it's not supervised by someone from the National Cognac Bureau and you close it, open it, close it, open it and so on, just to always have a look what about the maturation process, then you are not allowed to write down 1968. So this is the restriction. Um, it's a little bit special in, in cognac because uh, Armagnac is quite different. But this is also something we will talk in another video to go more in detail there. And yeah, so first I want to present you the bottle. It's um, actually Balan Tassier, most of the bottles are um, a really classic design bottles. As you can see, it's um, yeah, really on the, on the classic side here. You have this beautiful wax seal on the side. I liked it very much. And on the back side, we have um, some information about the bottling date. It's, it was bottled 2022 and 156 bottles was the outturn. 46.3%. I'll go by volume and the bottle size is 70 centiliters. So, I had two bottles of this cognac. This is what is left from the first bottle and we will pour it in today. So, finish. And yeah, 
Of course, um, I really like this cognac, so I um, had it already several times in the glass. And yes, yeah, so let's have a first look into the color of the cognac. I will I try to focus a little bit here. I don't know if it works. Let's see. Um, it's, a, it's actually a caramel color, I would say, for me. Um, it's not that dark, it's not that bright, it's, it's a nice mixture. And so let's uh, smell first and let's see what kind of aromas this cognac has to offer. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite funny because every time I smell it, I always have to uh, think on a, on a creme brulee or on a, on a baked apple, something like, like that. You also have these intense spices from the wood, but it's not overwhelming, so it's, it's, it's a comfortable spiciness. And I also have some, um, some thyme and um, some rosemary. And if you want to, yeah, maybe it's some, some Mirabelle. Um, so I don't have these dark fruits. It's more like a little bit, even like, like, a, like apple or like Mirabelle, more, more the, the brighter fruits. I know this. Yeah, it's, it's a highlight from this cognac. It, uh, and even if you leave it there for, let's say, thirty minutes, it uh, develops a little bit other aromas. But it, it's not. There's, there's no aroma that uh, that you have to struggle with. It's it's really comfortable. It's a, a luxurious aroma for me. And yes, very nice. Okay, so now we proceed with the tasting. Santé. Yes, and it's very sweet and I like it sweet um, it's even a little bit oily so um, yeah and the, the alcohol is perfectly integrated in this one it's it couldn't be better for me And you have these juicy oranges, you have um, like maybe some lemon, lemon zest here. And my favorite dessert is uh, crepe suzette. And always when I taste it, it reminds me of that. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing cognac. I don't find in the palate and even in the nose, I don't find any edges. Um, also in the finish, there's it's a very round cognac, it's, yeah, and the finish I have um, this cappuccino milk chocolate notes, it's a, it's a medium long finish, it's not, an, not too long, but that's not disturbing in any time. Yeah, and now you also have some cinnamon, some, some old leather after a while, so it's, it, it's still there, so yeah. And anise, some anise, yeah. But all the time there's no bitterness from the wood. It stays luxurious, it's not soft, it's more like um, a perfect balanced cognac. Yeah. Because the wood influence is too high for, for being soft. But as I said, it's not, there's no bitterness or any disturbing 
biasness or, or something like that. Very nice. All right, so let's come to the overall impression from this cognac. Personal for me, it's one of the best cognacs I've had in the glass so far. It has this Christmas style flavor, it has this crepsicide style, it has no overwhelming aromas, any disturbing aromas or any bitterness. It is uh, smooth, it's luxurious, it's, it's a perfect cognac, let's say it that way. If I would give him points, I would say 96 points from 100. So what about you? Did you ever try a cognac from Malin Tercelier? Any cognac you liked very much? Maybe you've also been to the Domain and can tell us something about that? Just leave a comment and let us be part of your impressions. In the next videos, we will talk about maturation process, production, Maybe also a little bit about the history of cognac and, of course, Armagnac. And just let me know, are there any topics you would like to talk about? Um, anything that interests you, you want more information for? Because I, I of course, I will make these videos, but I also want you to be part of this channel. Um, so leave a comment, let me know what you think and so I would say thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video and yeah, see you hopefully in the next video again.